Good night, everyone, and welcome to my channel and podcast, Keeping It Real, Alicia Nelson. Tonight on this podcast, we have some lovely guests, and I just want to introduce them. And as I introduce them, they will say something, something uh, a little about themselves. And the first person I'm going to introduce is Kijon Isaac. Kijon, can you say something about yourself? Hi, everyone. I am Kijon Isaac. I am a customer service representative at the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission. And I am also a musician. I am a musician slash music teacher as well. Um, that's what I basically do. Thank you so much. And next we have Noel, uh, one of my friends too as well. We work really hard when it comes to YouTube, to the YouTube platform. And I want to introduce Donnell. Donnell, can you say a little about yourself? Hi everybody, my name is Donnell Johnson. I am a YouTuber, I do um, video games. And also I am writing a book called The Wedding is a drama book, and I can't wait for you guys to read it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. And next we have Asha Ramdiel, and I wanted to introduce a little about herself, and tell the audience a little about her. Hi, good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Asha Ramdiel. I am a, well, the receptionist at the Agricultural Development Bank. Um, also an aspiring novelist, and uh, yeah thank you so much asha and finally i will introduce myself no other than alicia nelson and youtuber slash model slash computer programmer slash go on and go on but i want to thank god for having these wonderful people on my podcast to tonight and today we are going to talk about a topic a topic that influences a lot of young people um old people um say it. everyone across the border if i'm correct i know you all could agree with me and the topic is about relationship why talk about relationship because it's a common issue in today's life and everyone you know needs to get some advice and some tips and some experiences with on relationship and my first question i'm going to target my first question to teach you guys very good and my first question is, how would you know if a guy or a woman is totally interested in you? Well, I would say it all depends on the on the temperament or the personality type of the person. There are some people who will outrightly show that they are interested in you. Yeah. And there are some who will be very interested in you, but they yeah. will not show it. You may have to, you may have to read or between the lines or to pick up a bit more. So um, they are they are for the folks that are that are outspoken or who basically may not care too much about what others think about them. You yeah. may it may be much easier to figure out okay this person is interested in you because they will may they may just come out and tell you or they may show you without worrying what you think what they think yes and uh, for a person who is more but what, what we made them as introverted or a bit more shy um there may be ways to to pick up that idea into you but it may come by uh, being around them a bit more to understand their ways or understand their ways of thinking. So I will I would say generally it depends on the personality type or the temperament of the person. Thank you very much. And Asha, what is your point of view on that? I have to agree with them. Um you'll find that persons, well extroverts will come out right out and tell you, okay, I like you. And then there are some persons, the introverts again, they they look more reserved. They may do things for you to recognize that they're interested, but they would not verbally tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But, and then there are also the persons that who were in past relationships and they may have gotten hurt. You'll find yeah. that they would not be... They would be a little more cautious in going into a relationship and 
they don't want to get themselves hurt again, so they will tend to hold back a little bit. Yeah. But you'll see that they will do certain stuff that you'll recognize. Okay, they are interested, they're just not going to give you 100% of themselves right away. Yes, totally mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Donnell. Well, Jensen, what both of them. This? Well, both, what both of them say was pretty good. So. Yeah. Well, pretty much. Um, it's all about some people, they'll give you signs to see if you pay attention to um, them, let's know that they like you uh, and want you to tell them, or they just flat out say, I like you. It's a 50 50 thing, so. Yeah. Pretty much so. You never know, it all depends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah wow. that's true. Mm-hmm. Going on to my next question. I know this question might seem, I don't know, you might say, oh, why did she ask this question? But for some of us, we may be living love. But I know there are people who don't believe in love because they have been hurt, right? So this is why I asked this question. And I'm going to ask it first to Asha. Does love really exist anymore? Asha? For some people, yeah. And then for some people, no. Again, it goes back to what you were saying about people being hurt. Mm -hmm. They may have a very negative view on what love is. Or they may be confused as uh, to the point of what exactly defi- does love define is defined as yeah so in my opinion it does exist but like i said it's love can be defined differently yes it's mm-hmm. what your definition of love is thank you i'm donnell i would like to hear your views on this all right love is out there but when people get hurt multiple, multiple times from the person that they truly love, so they feel like um, it don't exist. That's how you get some people who cheat on people, on other people because they've been hurt so many times. Yeah. Not all people mm-hmm. do that though. Some people do cheat because of that reason. Some people cheat just because they want to cheat. Yeah. So it's out there, but you just gotta find the right person and then you gotta be equals also. and. Um, you have to do certain things for each other. You know, you don't like what she wants to do. You still have to do it because you love her. And she can do yeah. the same thing to you. Do stuff that you like. You're gonna like it. So keep the chemistry going. Yeah. yeah. And Kijan, finally, mm-hmm. give me your response to this. Yes. Well, um, in agreeing with both Donna and Asha, um. Love, it, it it really it depends on the person's experience, the person's upbringing, you know what that particular person went through. As um as um both Asha and Anna rightly said, if someone has been hurt in the past, you know it it may be difficult to to portray love, or it may be difficult to to experience love because of you know what you know, the emotions or what has been going on in the past. Um, also, it depends on upbringing as well, because if, in, in, in the case of someone being raised in a family where, you know, a lot of love was given to them, a lot of love was experienced, and we say a lot of love, meaning, you know, great parenting, you know, great quote and quote society and all these different things. All that will influence, you know, the, the love that a person can give in a relationship. So, it does exist. Yeah. But it doesn't exist any and everywhere. It's, yeah. It's dependent on the situation of the person. Thank you so experience. much. Mm-hmm. Can, can I add on something right quick? Yes, you, you can. can. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Um, actually, I meant to say, too, is that um, you can love, there's truth of there's two different types of love. There's love and in love. You can love someone but not be in love with that person. All Seriously, the elaborate so, on that. So people get that mixed up. But I want Donnell, I want you to elaborate on that. Love and being in love. Like when you're in love with someone, you would do everything for that person just to because you're in passion, you want everything to be right and you you break bread for that person, you did. See what I'm saying? You know, when you love someone, uh, like say like uh, I love my brother, something like that. But I'm not in love with him. You see what I'm saying? 
Okay, I understand. So you're saying in love is more for a relationship kind of thing, like someone you really want to build with. And yeah. love, you're talking, it could be like, you know, I love my brother, or my sister, or my mom, or my dad. Or, or your friends, like I love my friends, but you know, oh, yeah. so yes. people can get that mixed up. Yes, I understand. And I'm glad they brought some clarifications. I guess some of us maybe, I don't know if you didn't know the difference, but you know, it's good to, you know, sometime you know remember these things anyone want to add anything else in terms of that love and in love you know did the, anyone want to add yeah i guess not so if not then i will move on to the next question and the next question is what are some of the qualities you love in your boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife so for those who are married they will give their own perspective and for those who are in just relationships they will give their own perspective and i will start with donald first oh okay um okay okay sorry if you put me on the spot but you know how it is sometimes you know yeah and even if you're nothing you know in a relationship you know your potential person what are some of the qualities that you would you know you would like that person biggest thing for me is trust yeah you have to you have to trust your partner you cannot yeah. trust your partner your relationship's not gonna last yeah that's the biggest thing for me mm -hmm. and um no relationship's gonna be perfect everybody can understand that you want to have your ups and downs in a relationship but as long as you guys can't agree on something and get past what you guys are arguing then everything will be okay and then you gotta yeah. give it you have to give each other space yeah and just be up under that person 24 7. Hmm. and yeah that's, that's really my big three things right there yeah and asha what's your point of view on that well i think i may be the only married one in this group right now no um, kija is married kija is no, married as well. oh sorry about that I just um, <laughs> i'm not married <laughs> <laughs> All right. What I love about my husband is that, yeah, he is all. If I do need advice on something, because my husband is a little bit older than I am, yeah, um, always ready to give advice on on issues that I may be having because yeah, there, there's some things he may have experienced before I did, so yeah. I do. So he may have a perspective on it that I may not be thinking of at all. So it's mm -hmm. good to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. And to give you clarification on stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, that's some really good point, though, actually. I could really see that's some really, really good points. Yeah. 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 I love that at the end of the day, we have a mutual respect for each other. And respect <laughs> is something that's very important in a relationship, marriage, uh, friendship, any type of all uh, connection between two person you must have mutual respect for each other otherwise what do you have if you don't have respect and at the end of the day respect is something that's not given respect yeah. is something that's earned mm -hmm. i see mm -hmm. so and if you don't respect how you sorry respect, yeah that's okay thank you Asher. thank you no problem um um but some of the qualities i love in my life one of them, mm -hmm. I love the fact that she's very appreciative of all that I do. Yeah. She, um, that, um, that's what we make to as gratitude. Yes. Um, you know, when sometimes in a relationship or in a marriage, if you don't, if you don't get that sense of gratitude from the person that you're married to, you may, it may be discouraging at times, all the things that you do, all the hard work that you may, do, may be doing. So that's one of the things I appreciate about her. Another thing I appreciate about her is she pushes me further to achieve my goals. Yes. So, um, I remember there was one time I said, uh, well, I'm a musician, I play the piano. Yeah. I play with a band, I director band sometimes yeah and one at one point in time i said okay i will have a recital and you know i'll organize a an event you know get tickets and you know let folks come and experience this event 
Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't done it yet, but sometimes my wife will literally be like pushing me. She'll be like, you want, you know, um, you need to have this recital that is stated. Just give me the date and give me the time and I'll have the plan it out. Uh, you know, things like that. So I, I, yeah. I really appreciate the fact that she, you know, pushes me to reach my goal and she helps me to fulfill my purpose in life. Yes. And, you know, I also, I also, um, I also appreciate the fact that we trust each other. Yes, that is important. So, um, yeah, you know, in some relationships, you you may go somewhere and the person wants to be your phone and okay, mm. who you talking to? Yeah, yeah. But, um, nah, I, I not good. Where, where are you going there? You know, these kind of things. Yeah. We, we we have that trust. Where if I say X Y Z, then X Y Z is. So if she says X Y Z, okay, well, X Y Z is because that because of that mutual trust. Yes, exactly. You know, with, with with trust, it, it can without that trust, uh, your relationship. Yes. So, so true. Yeah. So those are some of the qualities I I appreciate. I want to say that all these um, qualities that, that you all point out, it is so true, it's so integral to have these qualities in a partner. You understand? It helps build the relationship. You know, it helps grow the relationship between, you know, between you and that person. And moving on to my next question, mm -hmm. I just want to ask, I want to start with Asha first and I'm going to ask, you know, give me two tips for maybe a healthier relationship for somebody who maybe is dating or in a relationship and for someone who is married. Two tips. Mm -hmm. Communication. Yeah. You must be able to communicate effectively with your partner. Yes. And another tip that I would give to anybody in a relationship, whether they're married or not, yeah, is to, at the end of the day, give the person a little bit of space as well. You can't hover yeah. around them all the time. Yeah. Um. You must have some downtime for yourself. Yes. So don't think that it's pulling away just because they decide, you know what, I think I went a little bit of me time. That's not me pulling away from you. That's just me saying about me and my mental mental health. Yes. So mm -hmm. just interpret the the person wanting space as they pushing you away. Yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. true. And um, Donnell? Um for me is that um you have to have a relationship with God first. Both yeah. Yeah. I think if both partners um, acknowledge God first before them, and then you will have a healthy relationship. Yeah. That's like the most key because God's before everybody. People got to realize that. I get it. Some people don't believe in God, but that's yeah. Cool. But no, but yeah. I understand where you're coming from because I think somebody who, you know, who has a relationship with God, they tend to be more understanding yeah. because they want to live a good life. Like, so yeah, um, that person tend to emulate, you know, good qualities. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like um, with her, like she's real spiritual and all that stuff. So she yeah. got me hip on a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I had to do my research on yeah. so I can get a, myself better in life. So like that's real important to me is putting God first. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. be understandable. And key drunk? Yes. Um. But I would say, but I both I I agree both with you know putting God first and even communication yes, communication sure. is yeah. a really big thing yeah, in, so a, in a going out yeah. and, you know as Asher actually said effective communication sometimes mm -hmm. you may have something in your mind and you may want to sometimes you you need to may, may need to think how am I going to say this yeah what is the most tactful way I can yeah. communicate what is in my mind. So yes. communication is a very important thing. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing is um don't lose yourself within a marriage. Wow. Meaning do not let it be the case where you give up all your friends, you give hmm. up your family. Now at the same time when you get married is yes it's to become one it means that your wife 
become you meet you put your wife above your friends of course because yes. she's the person that you're one with yeah but at the same time getting married doesn't mean it dropping everyone else in your life or dropping all the things that you love to do. it's so true such as it's so true. playing music or writing a book yeah it's so, so in getting married you spend a lot of time with the person but you maintain you but which which kind of ties in with what with what asha was saying where exactly you get in your um your space to yes basically be you or to deal with your mental health yes so, yeah. And I want to add to that, uh, sorry for talking about my experience or someone I know, but I remember I had a good girlfriend of mine. We we're really, really, really going really, really good. And she met this guy, just say this rich guy, right? So when she met this rich guy, it's like she cut off all her friends. You know, she was just, you know, most of her time she would spend with this guy. Mm-hmm. Finally, at the end, I found out that she and the guy, they, they have broken up. Mm-hmm. And then after immediately, I I saw messages on my phone. Oh, I miss you so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, but the friendship, you know, the friendship is not as strong as it used to be because what I saw is when when you had that person, you immediately you understand. Yeah. So it's always good to as well to not lose how to say lose yourself in that in the process. If somebody mm-hmm. if somebody really loves you, they will respect you, and you know there should be boundaries. You know your friends and them should be understanding too as well. Like you are yeah. in a relationship, Correct. but yes. at the same time, don't lose who you are. You yeah. understand? Yeah. Don't lose you in the process. Anybody want to add anything to that, or I mm. guess we are good with that question. And do not, do not um, and at the same time, do not yeah. try to pull your spouse or your partner away from their friends. So yes, yes, their, yes, that is very, also. very important. Yeah. yeah. In and as much as mm-hmm. you try to maintain your side. Yeah. Try to help your spouse balance their side as well. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I saw what you were Kijon saying. And even a person who exerts such behavior, they say it could be controlling. Because why would you not want your you know yeah, your spouse or your friend to associate with your family or friends and say yeah. you know that this is insecure. You understand? And those mm-hmm. things are um, with um red flags. Yeah, you know that's right. So I'm moving on to the next question again, and I'm going to start with Asha. And what are some of the things will a woman, ex- I'm going to ask the woman, you know, well, the ladies in the group, well, Ash, I'm going to ask this. I could add to as well. But what are some of the things, you know, we as women expect from a guy? You know, sometimes we women have like too much expectations. But just give like one yeah. or two, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, so they could hear this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, boy. Um... Oh, you want me to start? Yeah, you, you go ahead. I think being like, for me, knowing like, you know, dating and, you know, in a relationship, like a guy don't understand this. They think, I can really think, you know, sometimes money is it. But what a woman expects sometimes is honesty, you know, and she expects your time. And those are the, those are the things women really, really expect. You understand? You know, that is true. That is true. That, you understand? Sometimes guys think, hey, I need to, you know, sometimes it's just your time, just you just listening to her little issues. Those things are really, really important because a woman, how a woman is built, she's very emotional. And mm-hmm. just spending, you know, just a few times, just, you know, understanding what exactly is going on. You know, a woman really, really appreciates that. Ashley, anything to add? Yeah. Um, um, you'll find that a lot of women, at least in my opinion, are way too materialistic and they're yeah. not. Uh, they they expect way too much material things from men and that that, that I find that's that's wrong. That's a red flag. Because, that's a red flag guys. Yeah, that's yeah. a red flag for you guys. Mm-hmm. If this woman is constantly asking for material things, she's only after you for just one thing, especially yes. because that uh, she assumes or presumes that you have money and she will want you to to spend to, to to be lavish with her like, yeah yeah mm-hmm. and to add to that a woman who to add to that sorry to interject asha but a woman who really we are talking from woman perspective a woman who really likes a guy who really understands she will understand just say you know he's not that super rich you know you know and you know there, there is some how to say there's some compromise there's some understanding there you know she, if she respects your dream then she know you know hey he's planning for something better for something greater so i wouldn't say you know if i go into a dinner you know he spent you know 
expensive you know the first day that would make that a brother spend a towel you understand a woman tend to be understanding so some of these some of these things i think guys need to observe when they are going to dating and you know it's good to know these things it shows exactly what type of woman you're putting yourself into yeah mm-hmm. exactly yeah um, yeah you, if it is you're really interested in somebody mm-hmm. you look at emotional connection that you have with this person first you're not going to look at materialistic things yeah you want this mm-hmm. person's time. You don't want their money. Yes, it's so true. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. So if it is that, in my opinion, we could just chill home and watch a movie. Huh? Yes, so the time is so important. It's home. Mm-hmm. It's so true. Yeah, so true. I want your time. So, like yeah. I say, you're with somebody who's very ambitious. Oh, and God, yes, they yes. Work, let's say, their typical day is 12 hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would expect at least one full weekend a month and maybe if possible, depending on what the schedule is, you have to you have to be able to compromise. You yeah, kinda yeah. Show, yeah, you, you kinda expect this person to just drop everything because you're in a relationship. You have yeah. to be mm-hmm. there. If it's a group, you really care about this person, you're gonna stand behind them and make sure that they achieve their goals. At yeah. the same time making sure that they're doing the same for you. So true. So true. So true. Mm-hmm. I can so true. But now I'm going to ask the guys now because we get, I mean they heard our perspective, but now we want to hear, you know, from the guys, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. guys, what are some of the things you all expect from a woman? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go first then. All right. Um yeah. for me, be yourself. Yeah. And that's that's really important for me. Don't be someone different just to prove that you want to be with me. Because if you're not yourself, that's unattractive, yeah. and I'll leave you alone. Mm-hmm. And um, and then if you can't accept me for who I am, or if I can't accept then it's no point. Because, yeah. Yeah, that's a big thing. And like everybody was saying earlier, communication is another thing. Yes. That's mm-hmm. like so important is communication. Without communication, it's going to fall out. Yeah. yeah. And then what I was saying earlier is, is trust. Have yeah. to trust your partner. If I can't trust you, why are we together? Yes. That's the most the big thing. And having a relationship with God. I feel like yeah. you can't have a relationship with God. I mean not yeah. you don't have to go to church every Sunday. No, no, no. I'm saying for us to pray together. Yes. Like that. And then um, Yeah. As a family. So yeah. I mean so yeah, that's about it for me. No problem. And Key John? Um I think another thing that we, in addition to what Donna was saying, uh, another thing yeah. that we as guys expect women to do is to be understanding of our decisions. Yes. To be respectful of our decisions. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, we as men will control because we are men or, you know, you just agree with everything we say or, Nothing like that. Yeah. So sometimes just be understanding of decisions that we make. Or the the because what, what happens, right, is um women are generally emotional. Well yeah, much more true. emotional and guys are much mm-hmm. more logical. Yeah. When a guy makes a decision sometimes it's because of some logic he's working yeah. in his mind trying to avoid if some crush or some problem that he foresees and yeah. uh, you know just uh it's just a matter of we, we just expect understanding yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's one of that's one of the things you're right yeah. see it's good to get both perspective and guys i want to say this has been the end of my podcast i want to say thank you thank you much um, thank you, thank you very much. I don't know if anyone want to add anything to the audience first, any advice, tips, anything for anyone who is in a relationship and maybe needs some advice. I don't know if you want to add at the end of this podcast. I'm leaving I'm leaving the floor open just for five minutes, just for any 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 one of you all to just say something to, to my audience, to my listening audience. Yeah, just remember um, no relationship will never be perfect. And yeah. just work on each other and forget about all the outside noise out there. Yeah. You guys got to work together because you have to share the same home and forget about everybody else. 
and yeah. your partner and your family. Yes. That's it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Donnell. Anyone else? I want to say to the ladies. Yeah. Um, if it is that you feel trapped or you feel clustered in a relationship, you yeah. may need to reevaluate your relationship because yeah. a, a relationship is not supposed to make you feel like that. You're supposed to be able to have effective communication. It's a two-way street. It's a, it's a give and take. It's a compromise. Exactly. And if it is that you're with somebody that and willing to compromise with you, you need to reevaluate re your relationship and possibly get out if it is yes. that is person. Yeah. Even even if he's just abusive as well. Again, yes. lots of women they they think men are going to change. They get individual man in their life is going to change. Yes. No one yes. changes but for themselves. Yes. I think he going into a relationship and he's going to change his person to what you want them to be. It doesn't work out. Yes. So they, in my opinion, don't even try to do that. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Can you join no Or anyone else? Um, uh, yes, I will also say to the folks um, who are intending on being married or even yeah. they're getting into, into relationships. Yeah. Don't, um, don't rush it. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Carefully think it through carefully observe the person i mean e easier said than done yeah but um mm -hmm. sometimes when you rush into things you end up in a situation where you are clustered into a relationship wow so it's more about just taking your time get to know the person get to know more about the person and uh, if if you if you end up in a situation because even there are some guys who end up in the same situation to where you're, you're with a girl and you are probably verbally, you may not be physically abused, but you may be physically yeah. abused all the time. Mm -hmm. um, try and try and reevaluate as well and try and get out. And yeah. Even if you can't get out one time because of the motions or whatever it is, probably try taking a little break. Yeah. The, week break or a little two weeks or something yes that will, it's help, so you. That will help you actually yeah, you, you, can't, you can't lose yourself as an individual in a relationship yes mm. yes yeah, yeah. So i mean it's so easy it'd be so easy for us for someone outside to say hey, get out of that but for mm -hmm. the person inside it's not that it's easy so to true. just you know come no especially if there are children involved you know that that's yes involved. that's so true yeah so I hope my audience uh, are hearing that. Um, I, I I really want to add because people do listen to this podcast and I know maybe someone can get some advice, you understand? Because there are a lot of people maybe in different relationships. Not everyone might have successful relationships. Some might be in some form of abuse. And if you are in such situation, evaluate and think what is the best option. I would suggest anyone who have a relationship really evaluate it and you know, think quickly. Don't stay into some We'll stay into a relationship if there's abuse going on, you know, talk mm -hmm. to that really guide you. And don't be talk to anyone, not everyone will give good advice, but mm -hmm. talk to someone who could really, really give you positive advice on how to deal with those situations. Mm -hmm. Um, going back again too, as well, I, I have known maybe I've, I've been in a lot of situations apparently, but I've known where I had a, a past friend, I'm not calling names, I wouldn't call, I, I don't want to call names in podcast, and I think we shouldn't. I know a past, um. A, a past friendship of mine which was an abusive relationship and i try you know giving up all my advice and stuff and even though i just, i mean the same people will come up to me and you would say hey this is on my skin you understand me mm. and all mm. i know a friend and i will we were trying to do we were we were, we were giving her you know and we were saying hey come out of this but sometimes it's not that easy you understand mm. sometimes it's not that easy sometimes that person is terrified you know mm. it, you know yes there's mental thing going on there, you know, and I just didn't understand, like, like the, the person I knew what to be, I was like, I knew what to be a strong person. And for once in my life, I was just seeing my friend just being me, like, she just didn't do anything. She was just taking the abuse, the abuse. I mean, up to now, she's still in the relationship. I don't really know the outcome of it. But what I want to advise people, if you're doing an abusive relationship, you're really bad, you see, you know, 
really evaluate the situation and try to get out of it. I think it's nice because I think when someone starts like that, you know, the ending always tend not to be pretty well. You understand? And with all the cramp situation and things happening, you know, people need to be aware, people need to be wise and need to be careful. And as Kijon said, you know, those who are of us who are dating to an old, you know, don't rush into anything. You know, take your time, get to really analyze that person. Mm-hmm. Really, really analyze that person, their motives, their intentions. You understand? You know, before you really rush into something. Because marriage is a, a lifelong commitment. It is. And Yes, before yes, you yes, yes, yes. And, yeah, and before you go into anything, as you know, Donna was saying, make sure you have got any solution to as well for some guidance. You know, I mean, one of my mm-hmm. mistakes I've been honest with. Sometimes I tend, I have always asked God for the spirit of these zoom men because sometimes I mean, I in my past I've been going to relationship and I can discern certain things, and I would see some attitude and I'd be like, oh my God, mm-hmm. Damn, when I came out of it. But mm-hmm. you know, sometimes when we see these things, it is good not to ignore these things. You understand me? It's not just the mm-hmm. easy things, you know. So, mm-hmm. for the women and the men I'm talking out here, I hope mm-hmm. you're really listening to this podcast. And I hope this podcast will really, really touch you. Because if you're going through any situation, you know you are not listening there. You know, don't feel afraid to make the right decision. If you know what's right, do what is right. Anybody else want to add anything? Yeah. No, you did a great job. Yeah, <laughs> I think we covered what we wanted to cover. Yes. Yeah. So for all my listeners, I want to say always remember to subscribe to my channel, keeping it real, Alicia Nelson. You could find me on YouTube, on Anchor, and always be in tune for more podcasts to come. And have a wonderful night. And bye bye, and take care.